my just hi everybody welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to my brand new vlog today i'm going to give you an update hi guys welcome back to my brand new vlog today i'm going to give you an update on buying a budget car at the end of this video i'll let you know how much is the price that we pay for this second hand box hall insignia so i would like to say thank you for watching the recent video that i have uploaded about buying a budget car i've got a lot of views 1500 views so far so thank you so much for watching and also for those people who have actually commented and engaged on my channel thank you very much now on today's video this is something to do with um in connection with my recent uploads which is buying a budget car so this is my update now so last week tuesday we have purchased a car through online from macclesfield i just want to give you an update so what happened was basically we just given up on going to other garages to look for a car to purchase now what we did was decide so what we decided was to get online and purchase it through online so we got we found a car from macclesfield and the owner i just delivered it last week tuesday it's supposed to arrive three days before that but it failed mlt so when purchasing a, a car from online um we didn't have the chance to test drive the guy came we've sorted the papers transfers the names and and everything and then paid him now the next day wednesday we've decided in the morning to do a test drive and then that happened wherein we realized that there's a lot of faults in the car um the headlights were faulty and when you're actually turning left it makes a lot of rattling noise and it's not like really in a good condition i don't know why it passed mot so we've decided to contact the owner and return the car but i was so frustrated because um it was so frustrated to contact the owner he just kept on delaying us he just kept on saying that i'll get back to you i'll call you back um so it was wednesday thursday we keep on trying until saturday we've rang him again there was no update from him really since sunday alan decided to bring the car to macclesfield to the garage i'm not gonna mention the garage but and so when he went there he, well no saturday night actually on saturday night he told him alan messaged the guy saying that i have to bring the car tomorrow and um, but he did not reply there was no response at all so anyway he went there on sunday and there was nobody there the garage was closed so he has to come back home now today monday i think alan messaged him this morning saying that look i have to return the car i have a 14 day policy so you there's nothing you can do but accept this one because i have to return the car and cancel the insurance right guys so i'm gonna ring him later on just to ask because he's still in macclesfield i'm gonna ask him what's the update what's been going on have you sp has he spoken to the guy yet so things like that i'll let you know as well in the update now i want to show you guys the test trap that we've done last week here you go so this is a 14 year old car tell me oh if it's clean here you go all right and the, that's the at the back. Okay, okay. Let's work. Oh yes, go guys. So we're gonna go and have a look on the inside of the car. Right. Okay. This is it. All right. Bag, air condition. Does it have air condition? It's supposed to have. Hmm? Oh.
Bye, Caleb. Okay, you go to say cheese. Are you gonna fall? Sit down. One, two, three. Say cheese. Hi, guys. I'm back. I've just rang Alan uh, from Macclesfield, and I've just asked him what's uh, what's going on. It's actually what time is it? It's 12.49 so he already returned the car and he spoke to the owner and the owner said that it will take two days to return the money back to his account and yeah that's good that's a very good news everything started now what we're gonna do now is to actually go to the garages and look for um, car again so what lesson learned we're not gonna buy it through online because it's better that you have to see the car yourself and then do the test drive and see see to it that there is no any faults are also a lot of second-hand cars that are still in a good condition so we might have to raise our price range we'll see that in the future guys so anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy this video and um, yeah I've, we've learned a lot thank you so much for commenting on my previous video about buying a budget car I really appreciate guys for all the comments and um, yeah thank you so much and again see you next time bye for now for the second hand Vauxhall insignia it's in total it's 2295 plus the 50 pound delivery cost